Hello, parents. My name is Chris Reddy. I am the Assistant Director of Communications for the Napa Valley Unified School District, and I am here with another brief talk about the Parent Square app. In the last video, I talked you through signing in to the Parent Square app. If that is what you are looking for, use the links in the description below to find that video. Today, I am going to take you on a brief tour of the Parent Square app. Please take out your phone and follow along. First, sign into the Parent Score app. If you have any problem signing in, please go back and watch the first video, Signing into the Parent Square app. If you have signed in successfully, you should see the most recent posts for you on the screen. This is the home page. You will only see a small part of each post. To read the entire post, tap it with your finger. To return to the home screen, tap the arrow and word home in the upper left hand corner of your screen. Notice the word alerts next to the word posts on the home screen. You will receive an alert for information that is needed at the moment. This includes information about emergencies such as fires or earthquakes. To view the alerts on the home page of the app, tap on the word alert. If there is an urgent alert, you will also receive a text, phone call, and email, regardless of your notification preferences. To be able to receive text alerts, make sure your cell phone number is correct in Aries. If it is not in Aries or it is incorrect, please contact your student's school to update your contact information in Aries. Click the link to Our Schools in the description below to find a list of schools and their contact information. Now, look at the bottom of your screen and you will see five pictures. I am going to give a short description of each starting on the left and ending on the right. First, look for the picture of a home on the left. As I just showed you, this is where most recent posts and alerts from your schools and the district can be found. Number two, now locate a picture of the text bubbles with the word messages underneath. This is where you can directly message your student's teacher. If you would like to learn more about this feature, click the link entitled Messages in the description below. Third, to the right of messages, you will find a picture of a calendar with the word events underneath it. If your site uses this calendar, you can find the latest events happening at your student's school. Number four, next to the events calendar is the picture with the word media underneath. This is where you will find PDFs that have been linked to posts, videos, and pictures shared by your school or the district. The fifth picture on the far right is the three dots with the word more underneath. This is where you can find test results other important documents for your students, signups, forms, and polls. If you would like to learn more about these features, click the link entitled More in the description below. Now look at the upper left corner of your screen and find the three lines stacked on top of each other like a hamburger. Click on that hamburger to reveal a new menu of options. At the top left of the page in the center, you should see your name. On the left side of the screen, you should see seven pictures stacked on top of each other. I am going to give a short description of each, starting at the top left and ending at the bottom left of the screen. The first picture at the top is a graduation cap with the word students underneath. When you select this picture, you will see your students to the right. If you have more than one student, this is where you can select the student for whom you want to view posts, messages, etc. If you only have one student, this option is not useful. The picture below shows a person and a whiteboard with the word schools underneath. When you select this picture, you will see your student's schools to the right. If you only have one student, this option is not useful. The third picture down shows three students on a whiteboard with the word classes underneath. This is primarily for parents of students in middle school and high school. The fourth picture down shows three students with the word groups underneath. 
if you or your student have been invited to a group, that group has its own posts, alerts, messages, events, etc. The fifth picture below shows a person with a circle with the word account underneath. Here you can see your contact details, change your password, see and update your notification preferences, change your language preference, combine accounts if needed, and sign out of the app. The sixth picture down on the left shows the letter I in a circle with the word about underneath. If you want to know more about ParentSquare, you can follow the links in this section. The last picture at the bottom left side of the screen is a life or rescue buoy ring with the word help underneath. Here you will find the number to your student's school and a link to ParentSquare's library of how-to documents available in both Spanish and English.